seems to be a few people around today. Which I kind of, I mean, it's Saturday, but I just figured seeing as we're in a lockdown level three, no one's really doing anything any day, so what difference would it make? But I don't know, we'll see. There's quite a few cars in that car park there. Hopefully there's a few less further up. I'm hoping there's not many people right here. Oh, no, oh, that's, that's terrible. Oh my God, there's just people everywhere. That's so busy, that is so busy. Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. We're into September now, so that means it's just under four weeks until the backcountry opens. So that's pretty exciting. Looking forward to October. We can go a bit further afield, get back into the backcountry, get away from people, and just go exploring again. Pretty excited. So my plan was today was to come out, catch a couple of fish, maybe make a video for you, and just get out of the house, man. Anyway, it seems that everyone else thought the same thing today, which is why I'm back in this pool here. You've seen me fish this uh, probably too much this winter, to be honest. I had no plans of coming here today, but literally everywhere else on the river, there's cars everywhere. Uh, and this is the only spot I could find with nobody here. So let's go fishing. All right. So I had plans, actually. What I wanted to do today was just swing. But I bought the Nymphod just in case, and it's just as well. So uh, let's see what we got on here. So this is the 5-weight D Helios 3, called Papa Smurf Blue. Do you think I should call this rod just Papa Smurf? I keep saying, every time I look at this, it's like, yeah, Smurf. Tell me what you think. Drop your uh, comments in the comment section below and let me know if you think Papa Smurf is a good name for this rod. Kind of like it, it seems natural. This is a Mirage LT size two reel. And then on here is the Scientific Angler's Infinity Smooth six weight floating line. So what I do is I overload this rod by one line weight when I'm fishing, well, this kind of stuff, heavy flies, indicators, long leaders, that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got an indicator up there bought some bright red wool because it's uh, easier to see I think on the on the GoPro and I got that from Taupo Rod and Tackle the other day so if you're in New Zealand and you want to buy stuff from Taupo Rod and Tackle they're open for click and collect and delivery again now so uh, yeah hit them up if you need some stuff Dustin, Matt and Gianna look after you uh, I've got a stone fly on here from NZ Fishing Flies which actually has caught me a couple of fish now I like it it's really really good 4x down to a little uh, flashback pheasant tail Barb's crushed and this stone fly is barbless. So I'm going to start with that. Looking at how low and clear that is, we're going natural to start with, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Oh, anywhere through there, before the mend. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was cool. Just a little bob. Downstream kind of bop. Yeah, that's a lovely fish. Fat, 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 fat. Ugh. Come this way, bro. Oh, you get yourself wrapped up now. What did you do that for? Oh, boy. Oh. That didn't go well. That was a lovely fish. Real nice. Going through fish there. Yes. Oh, no way. No way.
Yep. There we go. Whew. Okay, that's pretty warm, so just de-layered. Um, and then while I was doing that, I saw this. This is the second time I've seen this thing. People leaving flies in the trees uh, this winter. And it's a terrible idea because over there, I was just watching a blue duck and there's two of them, there he is. I don't know if you can see him over the back there, but there's a blue duck and he's got a mate. So you've got these guys that live in this area here. Yeah. So please just, don't put flies in trees. It's sparkly, it gets, it gets birds' attention, and like, just take them home with you and throw them in the bin. Back up to the top of this run where all those fish are hanging out. See if I can pluck out another one. Right through fish there. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that was a fish. So a big flash as that all happened. Yep. Ooh. Try and drag him straight down out of that lot. And get him downstream Ooh. where we're going now. Just get him straight out of that lot so they can settle. I'm going to drop down through this chute and land him down here in this quiet water well away from the rest of those fish. Whoa! Got much more chance of landing him down here anyway than up there in that fast stuff. Nice. All right, that was cool. So finally on the board with a couple of fish, had a boy and a girl now, so that's, it's a pair. So I'm gonna leave that alone now just for, 10 minutes and just let it all settle down. There's a ton of fish up there, so if I leave it and just let it rest, there's a real good chance I'll be able to pick another fish out of there. How cool is this light? Ooh. That is not, that is not hooked properly. Yes it is. I thought I did not. I just thought I snagged this fish, but I didn't. He was obviously eating as I was lifting. It's a good fish too. Deal to that. Oh yes. Ooh, you're a great fish. I can see a stack of fish in there. Hmm, about there. Yep, there's one. Uh oh. Nice. Okay, so, ah, man, I've had, I've had some fish. I've been enjoying just being on my own outside fishing. It's been, uh, it's been great. Beautiful day. It's nice and warm. Well-ish. I'm still in my big coat, but it's nice to be in the sun. And caught a couple of fish, so that's good. I don't know. I know there's a ton of people downstream of me, which is kind of why I've stayed here as long as I have. Um, but I'm kind of bored. <laughs> How spoiled was that? I'm kind of bored catching fish. I just want to fish some different water. I'd like to swing, but it's not great conditions for it. You know, it's real low, it's clear, the sun's out, there's no cloud. 
but I still think I might go downstream and just try and swing a couple of places and try and get a fish on the swing because I love it and yeah just mooch around a bit I suppose while I'm at it I just want to give a big shout out to those of you that have jumped on my patreon recently you guys are awesome I really appreciate you and anybody else out there wants to uh, join the team and help me do what I do the link is in the description below I've got so much stuff planned for this summer and it's all epic and it's all expensive and I don't earn enough money to do it all myself so anything you guys donate goes straight back to that and is gratefully received all right put this away go find somewhere to swing ding a ding Yes, yes! Oh, oh well, that's just brilliant. Yeah, baby! Sweet! That's too cool for school. Look at that. Just perfectly hooked. And then that just drops out once the pressure's off. Oh, that's cool. That's a great fish. Dude, that was just that was great. Just after I was just saying how this is probably not going to work because it's uh, too low and clear and sunny and and fish don't eat streamers when it's like that. Sometimes it's good to be wrong. And uh, pretty happy, pretty happy, Pappy. Mission accomplished. One on the swing. It's all I wanted today. <sighs> well, I'm going to have to fish the rest of it, obviously. All right. So this is uh, one of those flies from Nick Stewart. Uh, he's a uh, flycraft on Instagram, and he makes these great, great tube flies kind of intruder style flies I guess not tube flies but as you can see once I uh, once I hooked that fish and then she started thrashing around this kind of pulled loose of the tubing and goes up the line what it helps with is it helps the hook not get pulled out so what happens sometimes is when the fish kind of thrashes around the weight of these dumbbell eyes can kind of lever the hook out so the advantage of having this style of fly here is when uh, when that happens the fly will push out of the tubing and go up the line and just leave the hook in and then uh, makes it for a cleaner hookup. So all that means is before you start fishing again, you just gotta take that hook shank and then just push it back into that tubing, like so. And I have my hook facing up. So the dumbbell eye is facing down and then the hook point up. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but it makes sense that if it bumps the bottom, it might not get caught up so much. But it's what I do. All right, let's try to do that again. Oh, that's a fish. Yes. Oh, sick. Just going to sneak down to this little bay here. Come on, baby. That's it, out of that current. Yeah, nice fish. See, look, there's the, uh, there's the intruder. And then there's that bottom jaw hook right there, just pops straight on out. Give you a drink. And I'm just gonna let this guy go straight away. What a cool fish. See you bro. Get out of here you. Nice. And then I just take that fly, slide it back down. Pop that shank back into that tube. Into place, dumbbells down, hook up. See that? Dumbbells down, hook up, and we're good to go again. Well, I can see fish down there, just coming into the pool. I'm touching the bottom already. Yeah, not ideal. So what I've done is, because I can see fish, there's a ton of fish there but they're in really shallow water. So I'm pretty much too heavy with my setup for these, but to give myself some kind of a chance, I've just went to a smaller, lighter uh, fly. 
just to see if I can potentially get a good enough presentation to them. If I was a proper angler, I would change my sink tip to something much lighter. Yeah, see I'm on the bottom there. Yeah, all I should do is change my sink tip to something a lot lighter and uh, fish that. Okay, so I've gone unweighted. Found something unweighted just to see if that stops me getting caught up on the bottom and we'll see whether that's good enough. Looking, 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 still looking. That's a fish. Yes, yes. Yeah, boy. It was a real subtle take, that one. Nice. Some power. Jeez. Here we go. Here we go. Nice! Oh my word! What a stunning fish! Oh, she's beautiful! Oh yes! Yes! Sweet! If I can get you up into here, get you out of that flow, away from these sticks. That's the one, that's the one. Oh, he got me. Yeah, sweet. Ah, oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. See you, buddy. Get out of here, you. That way. That way. Go. Okay, done. That was that was cool to get out. Man, I needed to get out of the house. The old lockdown certainly took its toll. I'm generally kind of tinkering on the border of crazy anyway. So yeah, it doesn't take much to kind of get me a bit a bit weird and a bit what's the word a bit tetchy i suppose a bit edgy i don't it doesn't take much i managed to avoid people for the most part and it was sunny it was kind of warm it was spring light and we caught some fish that was pretty great really cool to pick up those fish on the swing um definitely got more on the swing than i thought i would due to the conditions but that just shows maybe i don't know what i'm talking about okay i'm gonna go home and i don't know drink some wine even though I said I wasn't going to, I probably am. Great to see you as always, guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, if you watch these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please just click that button down there and do me a favor. Help me grow the channel. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a great week, everybody. I will see you on the next one. Peace.